Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a calendar for a machine that is running on a 24 hour cycle and is also not affected by resource allocation. So on the screen, you can see I've got one task, it says machine one, and in the information column, you can see that there's a calendar called machine one, which is allocated to this task. Now resources, I have three resources, Ben, Bill and Bob attached to this and the whole thing runs for three weeks. And if I split the screen and go to the details tab and get myself task usage, you can see that there are three people allocated and they've all got a edited work contour because I've manually typed in the hours. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday is Bill, followed by Ben, and then Bob, further along. Now, if I go to the, if I take the split off first, if I go to the resource sheet, there's the three people. None of them are over allocated because they too, if I double click in to one of them, look at the calendar, they're all using machine one as their calendar. So this is what I want to go through, recreate this from scratch. So if I get myself, I'll just cancel this off, a new project plan, control N, and start off with machine one as a task. So the duration for this is going to be three weeks, like so. Now I need to give this machine a calendar. So first of all, let's do that up to the project tab, change working time, create new calendar. So I want a copy of 24 hours and I'll put it as a machine one. So it's going to be a base calendar that I can use elsewhere. Okay to that. Now I need to edit this so it works at the weekend. So um, Saturday and Sunday, I want that to be the same as everything else. So that's 0800 to 1200 and then 1300 to 1700. Typo, 1300 to 1700. That's what I want it to be. Okay, and okay to that. So now that calendar has been set, I need to allocate it to this task. To do that, you double click into it. On the advanced tab, you've got calendar none. Tick that and you can see your calendar, machine one. And I'm also going to take this that schedule ignores resource calendars. It won't really matter because I'm going to change the resource calendars anyhow. But I don't want to see any red men, which I will get in a minute if I don't uh, do this correctly. Click OK. So there it says there, machine one. And everything's looking cool. Now, what I need to do is assign resources. So resources, assign resources. Um, before I assign them, I need to create them. So let's create them. So, Bill, Ben, Bob, for this example, and they can all be on one pound an hour, no overtime. Assign resources. So I'm going to highlight all three and just assign them to this task. It says three weeks. And you can see there, that they're over allocated straight away. Now it hasn't affected this because I had that ticked to say don't affect the duration or anything from the resource calendars, but I don't want to see a red man. Because when I teach project, I quite often say, you can't have red men because that means somebody's over allocated. And even if you know why they're over allocated, it's not a good practice because they don't get over allocated twice. Once they've gone red, they're red. So if they're genuinely over allocated somewhere else, they don't go redder, so you need to get rid of that. Now to do that, back to the resource 
sheet. I need to go into each one of these and change the working time and change the calendar so they pick up the same calendar. Okay, see that? As soon as I did that, it went not red. Change the calendar to machine one. Okay, okay. And Bob, same thing. Change working time, calendar, machine one. Okay. Okay, to that. Back to the Gantt chart. So now there's no red men, so it fixed that. But at the minute, if I split the screen again and look at the work patterns, so I go back to the front screen, uh, not the front screen, view and details, and get myself task usage. I can see the, the current work pattern. They're all working every day, all the time, 24 hours a day, but that's not how I want this to be. I only want eight hours work. So for the first five days, these two want to be on zero, like so. So let's just pull that across to, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Okay, pull that one across. Why does that not let me change it? Okay. Strange, but never mind. So then this guy wants to use this Bob. He wants to be zero for five days, and so does the top one. So he's no longer on it now because this guy's picked it up. And then and the last one, the top two guys just want to be on zero hours, like so. Like so. So now, I've made a mistake there somewhere. Ben's only doing four days, so. It should be 40 hours, everybody should be on 40 hours. There we go, that should be eight. So we're all, we're all doing 40 hours, but we're not doing it at the same time. So if I just delete these. Okay, it's strange how it won't let me delete those, but never mind, they're off on there. That's, I don't like looking at zero hours. So what we've got here, if I take um, the split off. We've got a three week machine cycle that's got shift patterns going through it and it works over two weekends in this example. And these three people are working on the designated shift rotors. Now, if obviously, if you wanted to extend this or there's different machines, you'd have to do the, the split screen again and physically put in their man hours on that task. And once you see this, that means you've edited their work contour. And if I just double click in here, you can see that it's contoured. So normally that default option would be flat, eight hours, eight hours, eight hours. But now it's contoured because you've, or I've typed in, physically typed it in. Okay, to that, and then get rid of that. So that's basically how you create your own calendar how you allocate resources to that calendar and then edit the resource time on a task like this. So hopefully that was of use to you and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for your time.